In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to download BIR's Alpha List Data Entry and Validation Module app on your computer or laptop. But before we do that, let me just explain what this application is and why we need to download it if you are paying your taxes. First, let's answer the question, what is Alpha List Data Entry and Validation Module app? This application is created by the BIR to help the taxpayers prepare the alpha list of payees for the filing of tax forms, such as withholding tax returns. Unfortunately, I won't be able to explain it further from the perspective of a payer because I'm only familiar with its use from the perspective of a mixed income earner who receives BIR Form 2307 or what we call the Certificate of Creditable Tax Withheld at Source. I get BIR Form 2307 because I have income that is subjected to EWT, or Expanded Withholding Tax, that is paid by the company I get compensation from whenever I'm doing my side hustles. I use this app in order to enter the details of my BIR Form 2307 into SAWT or Summary of Alpha List of Withholding Tax at Source. This is done regularly to ensure that the amount of my withholding tax will be properly accepted as tax credits whenever I file my income tax returns. These are relevant whenever you declare tax credits when filing your BIR Form 1701Q or the quarterly income tax during the first three quarters of the year and your BIR Form 1701 or the income tax return, which is filed annually. Once you've entered these details in SAWT, you can indicate it as attachment to the corresponding BIR form. I created separate videos for filing BIR Form 1701 and 1701Q, so feel free to watch them for you to see on how to do this. You may either click the cards or find the links in the description. In the meantime, let's now proceed to the process of downloading the Alpha List Data Entry and Validation Module app. The first step is to go to the BIR website, which is www.bir.gov.ph. And then from the drop down menu, just select Go to Home Page. From the home page, scroll down up until you see the downloadable section. Click here. And on the list of downloadables, click Alpha List Data Entry and Validation Module. It will also show you the latest version of the application. Right now, the latest version is 7.0. Once you click that, it will bring you to this page. Click Alpha List Setup Zip File. The file will download. Once that's done, just click on Open File or you can open the Downloads folder. From here, just select Alpha List Setup.exe. Now we're ready with the setup and installation. Just follow the instructions. Once that's done, just click on Finish. So now, both the Alpha List Data Entry and Validation Module apps are now installed in your computer or laptop. But the steps don't end here, because there's one more important step that you need to do in order to ensure that the Validation Module app would work properly. And that is to also install the Patch ATC. Click the zip file. After downloading the patch ATC zip file, there's a different way to install the patch that you just downloaded. Because recently, a lot of users are experiencing the cannot locate the Microsoft Visual Fox Pro error whenever they try to install the patch using the setup.exe file. In case you're also experiencing the same challenge, here's another way you can install the patch. First step is go to your C drive. 
and you will see there the BIR folder that you just downloaded. And then look for the patch ATC icon, which is right here. And then a pop-up message will appear saying that it's successfully done. This only means that the patch ATC codes have been successfully installed into your computer. Click OK. And you're all set. We've reached the end of this tutorial, and you're now ready to enter your BIR Form 2307 in SAWT. I created another video to show you how to enter your BIR Form 2307 in SAWT, so please click the card or find the link in the description. Thank you once again for watching, and I hope that you find this video helpful.